This is good for every student, every student. A brand new school in the Spokane Public School District is set to open in the fall. This school will be like any other in Spokane, offering a majority of its classes in Spanish, while the rest will be taught in English. Yeah, while well, the district does have a language immersion program at the Libby Center, this new school will allow students to read and write in both languages at a much younger age. Bronte Sorotsky explains. By the fall, bilingual education won't just be a program offered by Spokane Public Schools. They're getting an entire building dedicated to it. Hola, mi nombre es Mauricio Segovia. Spokane has offered a language immersion program since 2017, and that program is growing. And by at the end of second grade, they will be literate in both languages. That is Principal Mauricio Segovia's goal as the school district gears up to open its first public language immersion school which for now is called Spokane Dual Language Academy. We are hoping that the board will um, like <laughs> and approve our school name, the school mascot. Right now, students at the Libby Center go about their days learning half in Spanish and half in English. The new school would teach kids more Spanish than English. The student in kindergarten through second grade will remain in an 80% of the instructional time learning in Spanish. Segovia says this new school will benefit all students. Bilingual students typically outperform those who only speak one language. A bilingual brain develops skills and in different ways the complexity level of the work, the academic, the cognitive work in our brain is much more complex. Class sizes at this new school will be smaller, ranging anywhere from 18 to 20 students per class. Because the school is taking over an old school building, the move won't take too long. The future for our school is very bright. Enrollment for Spokane Dual Language Academy is already open, with their first day of school slated to follow Labor Day. Reporting in Spokane, Bronte Sorotsky, 4 News Now.